My name is Chef Marc, uh, born and raised in Germany, North Germany. I come from a fish town name is Bremerhaven, so I grew up with a lot of fish. I did my apprenticeship in a restaurant called Natusch. This is the only restaurant in Germany who has the rights to buy the fish direct from the auction, so all other ones have to buy over supplier. And my apprenticeship was two and a half years, and uh, I love fish. What I implement here as well. The love for cooking came with my family. We had the pub bar restaurant, and I stayed with my mom and dad at the stove and cooked. But what really bring me in then was when she sent me to the farmer's market with my list, and I had to buy the produce, the meat, etc. And uh, that's, you know, you start to work with the ingredients, smell the food. And then the main factor, the sound is funny, was a cucumber salad. So the reason why I really decided to be a chef in the end was a cucumber salad, because uh, we had a German barbecue, what is completely different than American barbecue. And uh, one of my dad's friends did a cucumber salad, just very similar, sour cream, salt, pepper, a little bit lemon juice, and chopped dill. And I say, wow, with this few ingredients, you can do such an amazing salad. And this, I said, I want to be a chef. And then I start my apprenticeship, and then uh, I work my way to many different cities, Munich, Berlin, Zurich, uh, London. I work on a cruise ship for three times. Uh, then my first time in the US, I worked for Donald Trump in uh, West Palm Beach in his private club as ex chef. Uh, well, it was a great experience, completely different. Um, I also work in the Caribbean where I met my wife, so this was the best career step I did. <laughs> and then I joined for seasons for eight years, almost eight years, and since almost seven months I'm now at Alpha and I'm very happy here. So and uh, I believe it changed a lot for a lot better and uh, very excited to be here so far. You're both. I mean, you're, you're a leader, of course, but you're also an artist. So I think uh, your artist is what brings you to the manager, to the leader, because it's, it's a love for cooking, uh, the, the new dishes, new ingredients, uh, to play with them. It's, it's kind of a playground. It's a love what you have for cooking. Or you, you have to love food if you, if you want to be a good uh, chef or a good cook. So, and then over the years, you get developed. If you're most, I believe most chefs have a mentor. I have a mentor. And then they, they kind of push you also for the next step, you know, why you don't bring all your, your experience, your love, and teach the next generation, you know, just don't keep it for you, spread it out, you know. And that's what I love. I like to develop people really, you know. So I think I'm pretty good in this. I mean, there's always room to grow, like cooking. I mean, that's why I cook. It's a never ending story, also. Uh, it's, it's always something new coming. And the uh, same as cooks, you know, it's harder and harder to, to find the. Uh, good cooks, so you need to develop them, you need to train them, you need to, all what they need to bring is the love. If they have love for cooking, passion for cooking, the rest you can teach them, you know, and that's what I believe, and uh, I, I really enjoy it, I love it, you know. So, and that's, we hire, for example, we try to hire a lot young cooks with no experience, because you, you can put your input in there. If you hire older ones, I'm not saying we don't hire older ones, or with too many years experience, but they are already got a kind of influence or something. I prefer to get cooks with not so much influence from, from the past, so I can put our influence, my influence in there, so they understand more our philosophy of cooking, our concept of cooking, our cuisine here in Hamilton's Kitchen. So and so far, uh, it, it works really well. I mean, for sure, we have the same change like other chefs, but uh, we have a very solid, good team, so I'm very proud, very happy to have a team like this. So. <laughs> I, I personally like challenging. I mean, there's a change in there, like uh, you have few call-offs, you don't like them. But what I like is changing from guests, because this is make it interesting, you know, you have a full restaurant, then you have a, uh, a big 12-top or bigger tables walking in, and then you have a lot of special requests, you know, so and it's, it's kind of a... I was a kind of a fight. You, you want to prove that you can do it because, especially when you make them happy, they come back because they really appreciate what you did, you know. And uh, the, you have more and more, especially from diary uh, requests. Uh, they don't like what is on the menu, etc. You know. And some of them you serve the food, and you know nothing is wrong. They say the back, okay, then you do something else, and you make them happy. My, my goal is to make the guests happy. Our goal is in it. Uh, is it possible to make everybody happy? Most likely not, but I think we do a pretty good goal from what we see over the last five, six months uh, with the changes we did. And 
like I said, I like challenge. I really do, you know. Sometimes they can drive you crazy. But in front of the guests, of course, you have to stay calm. And what is good is not a problem. But then in the kitchen, you do what you need to do, you know. So that's all. Yeah, this is challenge. But you have every day. Every day is a challenge. But that's what we love. I believe a good chef is what he loves. The guests get here fresh from scratch cooked food. We really support a lot the local farms. Every Saturday we go to the farmer's market. Uh, good solid food for me is very important. Like uh, Heaven's Kitchen, we have to cook what guests want. That's what I believe. You know, you can put your twist in, but in the end we have to make the guests happy. So it's not like uh, I can put foie gras on the menu. I could, but people wouldn't order this. So I really believe you have to cook food what people want, but you put your twist in. Then we have a chef's table, for example, what is very popular. And this is where I can play, also try new dishes or we may want to put on a menu, what is very, very popular. And people love it, you know, so, uh, yeah, good solid food from scratch, that's what we do. So we're really proud of what we do, so uh, there's for sure days you have kind of also hiccups, but uh, all in all we serve really good quality. I really stay behind the food we serve, no doubt. My German heritage, wow, laugh, <laughs> that's all I can say. It's, uh, I think from the German heritage cooking, I mean, the German food is completely different than like here in the US. And uh, I had actually a really good experience with German food uh, in one of the hotels I work. We had a chef's table there as well. And there was a couple who asked me if I can do a German chef's table. I said, of course I can do this. So we did kind of a cruise from the north from where I'm to the south where I used to live as well in Munich. So it was a six course menu. And I cook it by feeling how I grew up. When you cook your food home, you cook how your mom teach you. So I, I don't use recipes or something like that. So they had a great time. And then a few weeks later, I got the request if I can send him a recipe. I said, wow, no, I'm screwed. <laughs> so, and I had, to, I had to go kind of, I went online and try to find recipes that kind of go close to what I did. And then add my ingredients, what I put in, and then I have to cook the whole dish over because I want to make sure if I send the recipe, of course the recipe has to work. So it was a lot more work than cooking the chef's table by himself was the recipe, you know. But they love it, and then they came back again. Then I had to do a cooking class with them for the same food again. So it was a really good experience. German food, a lot of people ask me, especially when I start here, if I put German food on the menu. And I told him, for sure not in a restaurant. I can see we do maybe some items on the bar. Actually, we have this Friday, tomorrow, today's, tomorrow's Friday, huh? tomorrow's Friday. Friday, we have uh, a schnitzel party for 80 people. But schnitzel is not German, just to clarify this. Schnitzel is from Austria. But I think most Americans, they always say schnitzel is German. It's not, the German loves schnitzel but it's not the German dish. So I'm excited to do it. I didn't done it for a long time and I love it. I mean, who doesn't like a good schnitzel? Huh? Some good potato salads, uh, exciting. So we do this for 80 people. So I'm excited about this tomorrow. To be a chef, it, it's a very hard working job. But the number one is you must laugh what you do. It really is, it's a main thing. If you love food, you love to experiment with, with different ingredients, etc., and to cook. If you have this, that's a main key factor. And, and then you, you must be willing to, to, to work hard. It's, it's not a Monday to Friday job, most likely. It's not a job where you go 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock home, etc. I remember when I started, all my friends, I was 15 when I started, and they said, you're crazy, you have to work on weekends, you have to work on holidays. And uh, my apprenticeship, uh, they did one thing really good. From the first day, you didn't work eight hours. Even the law said, I was like anywhere else, but you work your 10, 12 hours with 15 years. So, and the, the, the owners, if you don't like it, there's a door. Somebody else wants your job. And it, it never affected me probably because I love what I did. And uh, I, I, I went to school, then I came home and I had to help my parents in the kitchen as well. So for me, it was kind of normal. It, it never really affected me, uh, the hours or the hard work. I'm, I'm sure there was certain days maybe, I don't know, birthday of the girlfriend, you had to work because there was a VIP function. Even you were just a cook, but chef said everybody has to work, you know. So uh, the, the great thing is, is so many great benefits. I'm, I'm really glad what I did over my whole career. I saw so much just to be on a cruise ship. A cruise ship is very, I would tell every young chef go on a cruise ship. There's some really, really good ones. They cook really top, top food. And what you learn there is really, you, you see all these different ingredients, what you don't see even here in the US or in Europe because you're somewhere in, in, in South America or you're in Asia. So, and you learn to work with these ingredients. You learn to work as a team because in, on a cruise ship, it's really teamwork, teamwork. If you don't work in a team, you don't make it. And you, you learn to work under pressure because the menu change every two days in a 
time period from two or three weeks. So you really learn all this. And there, when I went the first time on the cruise ship, I believe I was 21, 22. It really helped me on the long run for my career as well. You know, so I believe for my age, I could cook what I had to cook good, but maybe the teamwork or understanding different ingredients, different cultures, etc. Uh, I never, I never had this experience on a cruise ship. I really got it, and this opened my mind up then as well. And then I went to London, I went to the Caribbean, you know, I went to Switzerland, and all this. I'm glad now. I don't want to move anymore. I'm happy where I am, but I'm really glad I did this. My plan was I go for three, four years, and I go back home. So now I'm over 20 years away. So I most ever never go back home. My home is home, but going back home to live. Uh, Probably when I retired, hopefully I have a little small apartment there with my wife and we travel maybe between the Caribbean, US, Germany. So I hope one of the things, but uh, it's, it's a beautiful, wonderful job for sure. I, I would, who last food, go for it. It's a best job. And I think it's a really good time actually to do it now because there's so many, uh, they don't want to do this anymore. It's, it's so hard to find good cooks and you really, if you're willing and you love what you do, you, you can have really a, a bright future. You know, there's so many great chefs here in the US, even Florida, I mean, Orlando, there's really great, great chefs, you know. Work a couple of years or then one, two years, go to the next chef and then you grow. They will support you, they will develop you. And then uh, one day you will be an executive chef in a beautiful hotel like ours or you will be a great chef in a, I mean, in a restaurant or you own your own place. But with all the experience that you have, I'm sure you will have success because if you're good, people will come. It's really, that's clear. There's no doubt about this.